All right, let's script this cube to move. To do that, just right click here. It's just one of the ways to do it. Hit create and then C sharp script. This is the most popular programming language amongst Unity users. So I'm gonna rename, I'm gonna name that move player, but you can call it whatever you want, of course. Ideally, you would just double click that and open it in mono develop. But unfortunately, this ha this seems to crash my computer. So I'm gonna I'll go to the project folder for moving cube for YouTube and just open it in another text editor. So I go to assets, CS, open with sublime text. Okay, so you will see a void start and void update just like myself. And all you do is get rid of the void start. We don't need it. Sorry, let me explain what it does first. Um, this, if you have seen my processing videos, this one is basically the same as setup, and this one is draw. So this one happens once and at the first time this script is played, and this just happens every frame rate. Okay? Not frame rate, every frame. Okay, so we don't need to set up anything here. So I'll need two variables, one to make it move ba back and forth and one to make it turn. M moreover, I'll need two more variables to set the speed. You don't need it, but it's a good thing to have fast flexibility in your code. So float, move horizontal. You can, of course, call it whatever you want. The second one, move vertical, which is back and forth. And the last thing is float, um, moving speed and float rotating speed okay it's always good a good idea to be somewhat descriptive with your very vari variable names I could have just called the speed one speed two but this will con this would confuse you if you come back to your code a month later it's so yeah um, so move Horizontal is just going to be equal to the input of the user. So input dot get axis horizontal, okay, and move vertical is going to be equal to the input dot get axis vertical. Okay, so all this does, this one returns a value between one and negative one. So if if you're hitting the right key, this will uh, return one. If you're hitting the left key, this will return negative one. If you're not pressing any of the, either left or right, it'll it return zero. And this one is similar except with up and down. If you're hitting up, it's one, otherwise you can guess. Okay, and now let's make it move. So transform, I'm getting the transform uh, of the object, I'm getting its position, but I'm not. I'm just making it translate. Translate uh, that is moving, moving it. That's a very simple way to do it. So I'm translating it by the move vertical. If I'm not uh, multiplied by time dot delta time, that is to make it frame rate independent. Multiplied by, um, sorry, moving speed. And lastly, I'm going to multiply this by uh, vector three dot forward. Okay, so I'll explain what each of these does. This one, as I said, is if this if I'm not pressing the up or down, this is zero. So all of this becomes zero. Therefore, we're not moving back and forth. That should make sense. This one makes it frame rate independent. That is, instead of relying on the frame rate, we're going to rely on the seconds. So if someone has a slow computer that cannot move, move, make the move, make the game run at its default frame rate, then it shouldn't affect their game as much, nor the timings. It's it would be unfair if their game moves in slow motion because that would make it easier for them, or more tedious depending on the person. Okay, and this one is just the speed that we haven't set yet, and we should. I'll set it to 10. And lastly, this one converts all of this to a forward moving direction. Okay. 
And if I try it right now, hopefully this works. Okay, this doesn't work. Right, my mistake. You need to, you can't just write the script and save it. You need to actually apply it to the cube. So this is my cube, I'm applying it. That's it, I just dragged it in. And here it is, this one is empty, I'll delete it. Here it is, that's our script. And hopefully now it works. If I press the up arrow key, it moves forward. If I press the back, it moves back. Perfect. Okay, of course it doesn't turn because we haven't added that yet. So let's work on that. So to make it turn, I'm not going to translate it left or right. That's going to be, that's not going to look very good. Instead, I'm going to rotate it. Transform, not rotate. And I'm going to rotate it by move horizontals. No, first, sorry. There are two parameters for the rotate. The first one is the direction that you want. What axis do you want to rotate it around? So I'm, I want to rotate it around vector 3 dot up. That is the y axis. Okay. Then after that comes the angle that you want to rotate it. Move horizontal multiplied by time dot delta time multiplied by rotating speed and we don't need to convert that to a vector so this is pretty similar and the way it works you might be wondering hey what if i rotate it but it still keeps on moving in the same direction no it's going to move in the local direction we've already seen the difference between local and um global so i could make it move in the global if i wanted to but for this one i wanted to move in the local so if i rotate it that is the new fo forward would mean just forward, okay? N not by a global position, but by the local position, by the object's position, okay? If I s play this now, it, it does not work. And that's probably because I didn't save it. And I'll do that. Okay, so I messed up. Transform dot rotate vector three dot up move horizontal unfortunately i'm not even using the ide so i don't know my errors and that i know i never set a rotating speed we need to set this to a ro speed i'll set this to 80 because i know the numbers already and if i play it now it should work there we go i make these errors all the time especially without it's without knowing what my errors are. No. Okay. So we've got a moving cube that moves as we wanted it to. Now we want the camera to move with it. And that is the easy part. But before I want to make this easier to change, instead of having to access the script to change the rotating, rotating speed, wouldn't it be great if we could change from the ID, from the editor? Well, you can. All you need to do is make it a public floating value. Public. Then you just delete that. Oops. Just delete the values. Save it. And what you'll see is when you click on cube. Yeah, there you go. You get the moving speed and the rotating speed. And you can change it from here. I can change the rotating speed. But I like 80. It's a good speed for rotate. There you go. Oops. That was some lag initial lag it's all good okay so now let's actually make the camera move with it because after all this tutorial is also supposed to show how to make a third person camera to do that all you need to do is drag the main camera inside the cube so what we did here was we made the camera we made the cube a parent of the camera and the camera a child of the cube so it'll always maintain this distance away from the cube locally and that's it and if i do that you can see that the camera is moving right behind the cube it's just always maintaining that distance right that's it if i sh show you this in scene mode what you'll notice here you might see it better here that's our camera that's our cube okay and and i wish i could okay I'm going to switch the layout so we can see both at the same time. So 2 by 3. 
So here I can move, here you can see the camera and the cube, and here's the actual thing. As you can see, the camera is moving right behind the cube. That's how it's working, it's just maintaining a radius. Right? So thanks for watching. See you in the next part or next tutorial.